Hi, I'm Shehan Don Kulp, and this is Sensei David Ellis. Today we're going to be teaching a cervical lock from a bottom position closed guard. I'll take you through the scenario. So I'm in Sensei, Pipe Sensei, my closed guard, nice and tight closed guard. He's applying pressure to my chest. I can't take him out this way, so I push back, alleviating the pressure, knock the arms, and pull him forward. I want those hands on the ground. And I protect myself here from the headbutt. This is also a good place for, for strikes in a speed situation. I place my right hand on his shoulder and my left hand on his bicep, opening my guard but keeping my left leg across his lower back. I'm going to shrimp off to the side, again locking arms, keeping him nice and defend, uh, defended away from me. Bring my heel down to the hip and slide away and grab the wrist. Don't grab the wrist this way, he'll just break out of it. So grab it tight, we even like to put it on the leg for stability. In the street, I could sit up here with an elbow and do a variety of techniques. One I would like to try to go for is the guillotine choke. So I'm gonna shoot up my body this way and I'm gonna to try to wrap and get the guillotine. Sensei sees that coming and pushes me. So when he pushes me, I wanna make sure I take a brief second to bring my hips back. Because if I try to defend from here, I'll just be driven back to the mat and he'll probably pass guard and have a better position. So as soon as I feel him pushing me, I wanna slide back by myself some time. The guillotine comes underneath the throat. I like to go through the two hole here sometimes instead of just the neck because it controls this arm and pull in, and this would be the guillotine here, okay? But in this particular scenario, Sensei blocks the guillotine by driving his chest down, so I don't have a tunnel here, so I immediately seek another path. I go under the arm, opening my hand and grabbing what I like to use as a split grip, just a nice strong grip. I gotta lock this in tight, otherwise he'll pop his head out. From this point, I'm gonna start to roll back over to my left, but a little trick, when his leg starts to come up, feel it with your right leg, Get your foot underneath, and then you, that assists in the sweep. Land heavy. Put your right hand on the ground, adjust your body, and look at my ankles. Lock your ankles together, that's very important. Now the next thing is cinch this in by bringing your right hand over. I like to put my hand out for stability, stay nice and low, and then just push back and applying pressure on the cervical. Stabilize yourself and let your opponent out, your partner out, excuse me, nice and easy, no, no injuries. All right, let's do a little more up to speed. So, cervical lock from closed guard. Be very careful when you do this technique. The cervical is a very delicate area. I've seen a lot of people get injured, but it's an awesome submission. Thank you for, paying, for watching. We'll catch you next time.